Today we're breaking into a box of TSA confiscated Kershaw knives. I paid about 550 bucks, so let's see if we can break even on this. Uh, I've been out of the game for a while, so let's see if we can get back into the swing of things. Without further ado, let's see what we got. If you had not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I don't know if you noticed, but in the spirit of the video, I decided to use a Kershaw knife to open the box. So let's see what we got in here. Get the bubble wrap out of the way. Okay. First out of the box, we have Kershaw Speedsafe USA. The 1670 BLKST is about 60 bucks brand new. I think I could probably get 30 out of this one. It's a little worn on the belt clip. Not too bad. Feels very nice. Moving on, we have a Kershaw. The Kershaw 1605 CKTST is roughly 30 bucks brand spanking new. So I think I could probably get maybe 20 out of this one. However, it is in very good shape. Not even any wearing on the belt clip. So I would say maybe, maybe more than 10, but we'll go with 10 to be conservative. Uh -huh, hum, da -dum -dum. I really like Kershaw knives. I like the very plain colors of the Kershaw knives. Black, and uh, I guess there is a purple one down in there, but I like the simplicity. What do we got here? This is a, this is a 3460 George design. This knife feels very good in my hands, very balanced. The Kershaw 3460 goes for roughly 30 bucks based on the very limited amount of eBay listings. But I might just keep this one for myself. It feels very nice in my hand if I can figure out the problem with the locking mechanism. It seems like there just is not enough room for the uh, lock to slide over under the blade. But I actually really like this one. This knife is in very good shape. Moving on, shall we? Next up out of the box is a... This is a... 1338WM. The 1338 Kershaw. I could probably get 15 bucks out of this pretty easily. The blade is a little loose, so it might need a little tightening there. However, not a bad knife. Although, I think there's a little bit of sand in the rollers. 1830. A little bit of rust on the blade. Otherwise, very decent shape. These knives all seem to be in very decent shape, considering this knife goes for about 20 bucks brand new, so I'm going to be conservative, say I get about 10 out of this one, if I were to decide to sell it. There's a little bit of rust on the blade, but I think that could probably be cleaned up fairly easily without nicking it up too bad. Moving on, we have got, well, I kind of like the feel of this one. This is a 1555 Ti Hinderer design. Got a little bit of paint on the blade, but it feels very nice. I'm actually very impressed with Kershaw. There aren't many Chinese manufacturers that make knives that feel this nice. This knife, I think I could probably get about 15. I should be able to clean that up if I try without removing the finish. Otherwise, the knife is in very good shape. I really like that one. That might go in my collection, too. This isn't a for-profit business. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, this one, this is a smaller Kershaw knife. Tip is busted off. This is a 1620 ST. I can get about 20 bucks used for this knife. However, I noticed that it's 40 brand new, so the USA made Kershaw knives do carry more value brand new anyway. I don't know about the broken tip. That might ding the value a little. Let's see what we got here. This is a, wow. You know, I am very impressed with these knives. They feel very nice. My hands are fogging up the blades a little. This is a 1620 FL Ken Onion Design. I would say to be on the conservative side, this knife's probably worth 20 to $25 used. It is in very good shape. There isn't a whole lot of nicks. Doesn't look like it's been sharpened to death either. It's a very nice little knife. I do like the knives without the plastic handles or scales. Here we got a plastic one. This feels very China. This one is very China. It's a 3410 RJ Martin design. Some rust on the blade. I don't know that I would use this one per se. It feels pretty cheapy. I could probably get 10 to 15 bucks if I were to sell this, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that rust off the blade enough for me to feel comfortable selling this. Also, it's pretty dirty. Let's go with the purple one. Ooh, purple one has a paracord thing on the end. See, I think actually, you know what? This knife, this isn't one that I found in the box, but this is one that I used to open the box. This is the same model knife. Black one I already had. I found a purple one, except interestingly enough, somebody moved the clip on one of these knives. I think it's this one. This one, the black one, I think is 
left-handed setup or left side carry. Anyway, back to the purple one. This is a 8700 PURBW, made in China. I could probably get $10 for this knife if I really tried. I actually don't mind these knives. They're actually fairly ergonomical with their handle. Not bad little knife. I just noticed that the scales or the handle has K for Kershaw as a grip. Let's go with this little stainless steel guy. I do like these little stainless steel knives because they're generally built pretty well and they're not that expensive to buy them brand new. This one snaps into place really tight, blades really tight. This knife was pretty much brand new, I believe. Somebody lost it to the TSA. This is a Kershaw 1600 Ken Onion design. This knife's probably worth about $20 pre-owned. I don't like that it does not say where it was manufactured, because I feel like some of these might be USA made, and they just do not say. Very nice little knife, though. Here we have one that is engraved N. Jones. I think we found one of these already. Maybe not. Kershaw has some interesting serration. The blades that are serrated, it does not look like um, some of the Gerber serration, or you know what I mean. It's got a different design to it. This one is a 1660 ST Ken Onion design. So again, this knife does not have a country of origin on it. Just by the way it's built, I almost want to say it feels like it was made in the United States. However, it does sell for more than the Chinese ones, so that's another clue. 25-ish bucks for a used one, or 40-45 bucks for a brand new one. Seems that the Chinese Kershaws generally can pick up for under 30 brand new, but I could be wrong. Here we have one of these. This is a 1835 TBLKST. I think I'd probably get about 5 to 10 bucks for this knife. Uh, it seems like the plastic handled ones, probably Chinese made, are not worth all that much for resale value anyway. Ooh, this is a big guy. Wow. That is a lot of blade. Very thick. Let's see. This is a 1490. Made in China. I barely even uh, touched that blade and it caught my skin. It's very sharp. Well, much to my surprise, this knife is only worth about 18, 19 bucks brand spanking new. It actually feels very nice. However, I feel it might be the plastic handles setting it back also. There's that China word on there. So let's move on. I think we've already pulled one of these out. I don't know. They're all kind of similar. This one's got some use. A lot of these knives have been fairly new looking. This is a 1620 FL Ken Onion design. Let's see if I was right about this being the same knife. 1620 FL. Yes, yes they are strikingly similar. However, this one has holes in the back of the blade. This one here is obviously in much, much better shape. This one got some pocket time. Somebody probably carried that for a while to wear the stainless clip down. Okay, here we have another plastic handled Kershaw. Let's see what this is. This has a Tanto blade, a 1990. I don't immediately see the word China on it, so that's sort of promising. This is about a $35 knife brand spanking new, so I could probably get about 20 out of this used with a little cleaning and TLC. Move on, we've got another one of these. I think, I think it's another one. I think we've had one of these. 1660 BLKW. I think if I'm correct, it might be very similar to this. 1660, well, very similar, yes. The same, no. However, it felt the same pulling it out. Something I've noticed going through these Kershaw knives is these are very similar knives. They have different letters after the number. However, this one appears to have an American flag well, this one does not, so I don't know if that means exactly that this would be American-made, or if that's just an American-designed thing, you know, like, uh, I think M-Tech USA does that, you know, American design. This is about a $60 brand new knife, which I was actually surprised, and I probably could get, I don't know, 35 bucks used. What do we have here? I found a staple magnetized to the knife, I believe, yeah. I know, exciting, right? Riveting content. Uh, we have a 1660 uh, again. See, this one has the American flag too. Does that mean that it is American made, perhaps? Maybe somebody that knows a little more could fill me in on that little fact. Well, according to eBay, this is about a $30 brand new knife. I couldn't really find any reliable used listings that were sold already. So, I don't know, 20 bucks, I guess. It's in pretty good shape. I'm a little curious, I'm not really well versed on Kershaw knives, but this is very similar to the last one, except it's got the, well the other one had the American flag there too. 
I don't know. I don't understand their modeling system. If there's some kind of a dating a way to date them with that. See, like this one, this next one, is another 1660, exactly the same thing. So it's going to be the same situation. 30 bucks brand new. This one is also in very decent shape. Here we've got one of these plastic ones. Wow. Uh, am I missing something here? I can't open it. Ah. This is a very, very dirty USA made though. 1620 ST. That is disgusting. It's about a $40 brand new knife, except it's a little dirty. It doesn't look very worn though. It looks like somebody had it in their pocket and never took it out. So I don't know, 20 bucks used. Here we have a, another plastic handle China design. This is a 1730BWH3. This is an RJ Martin design and it says China. I think I already said that though. Should be able to get about 15 bucks for this knife in its condition. There's a little rust on the clip. However, the rest of it seems to be in pretty nice shape. Moving on, I don't think we found one of these. Okay, this guy was a 10-year club member of what club? Cabela's Club. I didn't know Cabela's had a club. They'll take my money, but I never got into this club. This does not, huh. You know, just an inkling, but I kind of don't think this is a Kershaw knife. Not really sure who's working over there at the TSA, but I think they just like to spice up the weight a little bit sometime. However, if this is a Kershaw knife and they just know more than I do, hopefully somebody in the comments will pick it up because I'm very interested. It feels really cheapy, but it has the black handles. It fits the criteria. That's probably why it ended up in the box in the first place. Here we have one of these locked blades, which I guess I appreciate for shipping purposes. This is a Kershaw 1600. Well, it turns out I just answered one of my own questions looking at the knives I've pulled out. The way you can tell where they're manufactured if they don't have the little China stamped on the blade or say made in USA is they say Kershaw USA. What a shock. Details, I guess. It's about a $40 brand new knife, so I could probably get about 20 bucks for that. It's, on, it's in decent shape. I like the stainless knives. They hold up very well. See, now if my new revelation is correct, this here knife does not say, it does not have the Kershaw stamp. It has that big, like embossed Kershaw, but I would bet that this is a Chinese knife. Well, who knows? I can't find a China on it. I can't find a USA on it, but I'm going to go with China because it just says Kershaw. The ones that seem to be USA made say Kershaw USA. This is a Kershaw 1446. Has like a little wrench as a belt clip. It's kind of cool. Comes down to the end as a wrench. It's got a little hex head on the end. So my suspicions turned out to be correct because this is only $14 brand new. So I am assuming that this was not made in the United States. Looks like a China Kershaw to me. It's unfortunate I made it to the end of the video before realizing this. Oh, there's a few left. One's all taped up. That's, that's not alarming. Here we have a USA made Kershaw 1840. Ken Onion design. Stainless steel. Very nice. One of the larger knives I've pulled out of here. Blade's got a few chips in it. A little bit of rust. I think that could be cleaned up pretty easy. Well, I knew I picked up a reasonable quality knife when I pulled it out of the box, but uh, I didn't realize this thing was selling for 180 bucks, brand spanking new. I saw a listing for 150 used. I might just keep this one though. We'll see. I know it felt very nice. <laughs> I uh, wasn't expecting something of that value. A very nice knife. Solid stainless construction. There is a few little chips in the blade, but uh, nothing that can't be worked out reasonably simply. That's why I do this stuff like that. Keep going. Somehow I think that might have been the highlight of the box, but we'll keep going anyway. I'm guessing this is a Chinese Kershaw. China, yep. This is a Kershaw uh, 1308 TANBW. This is only about 15 bucks pre-owned. Now everything in the box is gonna feel like trash compared to that 1840. Okay. Should we see what mysteries lie under this tape? INSP, something transportation. Interesting. I need to get the tape off and I can't find the end, so let's uh... I picked the one knife with a busted off blade. The only knife here that didn't have an edge on it at all. But anyway, we got the job finished. Good enough. For the video's sake. This is a Made in USA. This is a 1776 BW. Kind of feels... I don't know what to think about this one. It's about a $30 used knife 
$40 a brand new. I wasn't really sure. There's something about it. It feels cheap and it feels very expensive at the same time. Plus somebody took the time to tape it up for some reason. Not sure what that's about. Uh, what else do we got in here? Ooh, we got a little guy. Oof, man, this is, this is a real, real prize here. We have a 1025 Hinderer design. This is unlike any typical blade design I think I've seen. Also, the handle is very odd. It's got the bottle opener. Strange. Yep, so I was right. About 10 bucks brand spanking new. I don't really understand. Is this for like a toddler? It's a two-finger knife. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, it likes me too. Wow, this knife is brand new almost. The, the clip's got a little bit of dings, but the blue finish on the handle, except for that little scratch right there. I like this one a lot. I wish the handle was a little longer. I got big hands, I guess. This is a 1620 NB. Pretty much brand new, if I say so myself. This knife sells for about $40 brand new. There was a lot of different listings and prices, so that threw me off a little bit. However, this knife is very close to new, I would say. So I don't know, 30 bucks, 35 maybe on a good day. But I like this one too. I like this one a lot. I see the blade lock is there. That feels very nice. I like the color. Um, 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 and the last one. Okay. This knife feels very nice, but I think it might be China. Yes, it is. Very China. This is a 1555 Ti. I had a different 1555, but I don't know if it was a TI or not. This is about a $15 used knife. So I guess that's it for the video. I ran out of knives. Let's close that before I lose out a limb. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like the video. And uh, thanks for watching.